If you watched the Tokyo Olympics, particularly track and field, you heard a lot about the heat and humidity. I was curious to see whether anyone would talk about a particular weather variable that's increasingly being used to quantify the impact of heat, humidity, and sunshine on athletes. And during the women's marathon, it finally happened. The announcer mentioned the wet bulb globe temperature, WBGT for short. Yes, it's a mouthful, shown here in degrees Celsius on the monitor. 31.8 C is about 89 Fahrenheit. The wet bulb globe temperature is a measure of heat stress that takes into account temperature, humidity, wind speed, and sunshine. That differs from the heat index, which is based on temperatures taken in the shade. Let me break down the WBGT for you. First, the wet bulb part. Let's say you know the temperature and dew point of air. We'll show that here on a scale with T for temperature and TD for dew point. Now let's say that rain falls into the air. Some of the drops will evaporate, which cools the air, so the temperature comes down. But as water evaporates, there's more vapor in the air, so the dew point goes up. And if we take this to the limit, the decreasing temperature and the increasing dew point will meet, and that is the wet bulb temperature. Formally, it's the lowest temperature to which air can be cooled by evaporating water into it. So it incorporates both heat and humidity. What about the globe part? Well, a globe thermometer is a hollow copper sphere painted black with a thermometer in the center. Its temperature is called the globe temperature, and it's intended to quantify the warming effect of radiation, mostly sunshine on temperature. Okay, so here's the recipe for the wet bulb globe temperature. You take 7 tenths of the wet bulb, 2 tenths of the globe temperature, and 1 tenth of the regular temperature, and you add them up. So the wet bulb gets a lot of weight here, 7 parts out of 10. The globe temperature captures the impact of sunshine, so that takes into account clouds and sun angle, which of course depends on where you live. Let's do an example now for Harrisburg today. We'll assume of a wind of 5 miles per hour. 95 and 72 for temperature and dew point are close to today's highest values. Now, depending on how sunny it is, from 100% to as little as 30%, the wet bulb globe temperature ranges from 88 to 86. Those values mean that if you work or exercise one hour in direct sun, you should take a 30-minute break. Now, the heat index for these conditions doesn't depend on the amount of sun. It's 104, a much scarier number. And I think that's a big reason the WBGT hasn't caught on more. The values that are dangerous are typically in the 85 to 95 range, which just doesn't sound as ominous as the high heat index values we're used to. Still, the military has used the wet bulb globe temperature for decades to manage risk when training outdoors. And increasingly, especially in the South, the WBGT is used to decide whether athletic practices can be held safely outdoors in hot and humid weather. Personally, I think it's time to mainstream the wet bulb globe temperature. We'll try to do our part here on Weather World. Stay tuned. Our extended forecast is next.